I'm recording. All right. I guess, uh, you remember the series we went through? Yeah, I remember the series. No, it's not. All right. You always start, arms crossed like this. And when you roll back, chin, your chin has to be tucked into your chest. Right before you hit the ground. Snap. Back up. Anytime you go into a direction, the side opposite to the ground covers your stomach, your abdomen. You know, a tight fist. Chin chuck, looking in the direction that you're falling. Pay attention to my feet. They're going to form a T. The T almost acts as a break when you're falling. T. Feet are in the shape of a T. Mm -hmm. And smack the ground, 45 degree angle. Fist over the abdomen. Ugh. Opposite direction. Feet form the T in this area. Axe is my break, 45 degrees. Chin tuck, fist over the abdomen. Anytime you fall forward, you want to smack the ground with your palms. Never really want to use your wrist. Always your palms. And then you pop yourself right back up as best as you can. You never want your body, the midsection, because that's where all the internal organs are. You never want that to smack the ground. That's the reason for the smack. And then you pop up on your toes. Mm -hmm. In a falling situation, you never want to fall straight like a forward roll. You always want to pick a side. If you're falling to the right, it's going to be left hand smack the ground. Uh, right arm cover the abdomen, chin tuck. Feet form the T, 45 degrees angles. My chin is tucked, fist covers the abdomen. Ugh. Going in the opposite direction. I'm rolling, pick a side, I'm going to go over my left shoulder. Going over. Again, cover the abdomen. My chin is tucked, head not touching the ground, 45 degree angle. That's it. Okay. Uh, why do you smack the, 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 the ground with your hand or your palm? That Absorbing gives, energy, you said? It gives the force back to the ground. Mm -hmm. It takes it off your body. It's almost like, let's say like you're falling from a height. and Let's say you're in a plane. And at the very last second, the plane turns on its jets. It's not going to stop it from hitting the ground, but it takes away some of the force that it would hit. So if it's smacking like that, that little hit. It suspends you for, you know, a half of a second. Okay. And it cushions the fall. All right. Thank you. Okay. Cool. Wait, can you show me the whole sequence together, the way you did it before, from beginning to end? And do two of them. So right. I... Start here. X in the middle. Thank you.